Namaste Dosto. There are so many bad tourist trap restaurants here in Tamil that I want to make a video showing you how to find good home cooked authentic food here in Nepal. And these tips will work for India as well. So let's start right here. The first thing I look for is a sign like this. This sign says, Bera Singh Kaja Ghar. And a Kaja Ghar in Nepal means snack house. The language is different to Hindi, this is Nepali. And then here, it says Yaha Chia Nasta Sake Roti Parata Pani Pine Cha. And so this means here you will find chai, breakfast, wheat roti, wheat bread, and parata. And then you have it in Chinese as well and also in English. This is what you're going to understand, right? Breakfast available here. And on this side, it says Yaha Shud Shakahari Kajako. So they're saying they cook pure vegetarian food. Now the second thing I look for, you could just look down here and you should see someone smiling and it should look like a home kitchen. That's what I look for. I look for that home kitchen vibe. When I look down there, I can see this lady rolling rotis, rolling paratas, and it looks exactly like a home kitchen. And that's, that's probably the most important thing that I look for, actually. And there's a lot of these kaja gaz all around. And um, I really fell in love with this lady because I looked in, she gave a big smile, and she also looks like a woman from Haryana. She is so strong. She looks like a jat. She looks like my family member back in Haryana. So I really took a fancy to her straight away and I'm like, this is the place that I'm gonna eat. And let's go inside, let's see what they're cooking. And then I'll take you back and show you how you can eat at a Kaja Ghar as well. She's cooking an aloo paratha here. She's putting the potato inside it and she's gonna roll it out on this pan and fry it just like that and so the food that's available here you're gonna find a potato curry you're gonna find this is chaap it's soya bean you're gonna find a mixed vegetable you're gonna find eggs so you can have eggs any style you want and then my favorite this is chana this is black chickpeas and they are just delicious I like them better than the other chickpeas the white ones and yeah, my bai hai. Namaste ji. Namaste. Aapka naam kya hai, dono? Ramesh. Ramesh aur Venu. Acha. And this is their restaurant. And to khane mein kya hai, bai? Abhi paratha hai, roti hai, chowmin, pasta. These are base ka item hai. Andar hamara non base ka bhi hai. Acha. Okay. And we're making two paratha in same place. Two parathas in yeah. the same place. Yeah. Wow. They, they have to make what space they have work, you know, so they have seating here and we're going to go outside here next and see the outdoor seating and I'm going to show you exactly where you can eat and sit. And so these Kajagars, they're generally family run like you can see here as well. It's just so nice. They started this Kajagar because Ramesh wanted to spend more time at home with his young daughter. So he quit his job at Etihad Airlines and he and his wife Renu started this business together. And I just love that they took this risk. I find it very inspiring. Let's go to the seating area. It's down through this little gateway, okay? And I think you guys just saw how incredible that family is and you saw how fresh the food is and how it's homemade food, literally. Like, literally. I just, I love these two people and yeah, I've been eating here every single day, basically. And I thought I just have to show you guys how to find these Kaja Gars because there's something special. Let me give you a quick tour of around here. So this is, their home courtyard, okay? Family room there. The meat is cooked here, 
they won't cook the meat with the vegetarian food. Here you have there's an indoor eating area, and then we're going to sit out here, this is a smoking area. We don't smoke, but we're going to sit there and film. You can wash your hands here. This is for washing your hands. And we have where the water is coming from that's being used for cooking. And don't worry, that water is boiled, and so it is clean. And I've seen a lot of restaurants here in Nepal using the tap water, but as long as it's boiled, it's going to be fine. Good morning. Everyone's really sweet here. She has two or three, two or three beautiful daughters that come out of here every single morning and on their way to school. And you can just see like, place is ancient, right? If you look up there. Okay, food's coming. Oh, look at that. Lovely. All right, so let's check out the food. Here we have this is an anda paratha, an egg paratha. It is just flat bread fried in an egg and it is, that's my favorite paratha to order. Order this when you come here. Then we have a plain paratha. It's not really sada, it's not really plain. It has, she puts a bit of aloo in the middle, a bit of potato in the middle and some spices. And it's just delicious too. We've got two coffees. I don't drink coffee. That was my wife. She asked for coffee. So you're gonna have to drink both of them, Manu. And here we have, this is mixed vegetable plate, okay? So you can have a mixed plate of different types of vegetables or you can just go for one if you just want one plate of, I usually just go for one plate of these chana, of these black chickpeas. Then we have potatoes, we have the soya bean, and he told me this is a type of achar, a type of pickle, uh, but it's kind of it's like, like a sweet, sour, and tangy vegetable curry, basically. This will cost you about like 300 rupees, something like that, and this is enough for two people, okay? And you gotta eat with your hands, okay? So you use the bread to pick up the vegetables like that. Then just in your mouth. And actually, I got one more tip. So if a restaurant has people standing outside it, it has hustlers trying to get you in the door. My friend David told me this tip. David said this is a sure sign that the food is not going to be good. A good restaurant does not need hustlers outside trying to bring you in, right? Pretty simple tip. I think it's so true for anywhere in the world. I'm going to link to this place in the description. Come and eat here. I pay for every single meal. I don't take freebies ever in my YouTube channel. I pay for everything and I just feature people that I love, that I like. And I really like this family and I really love their food. So, you know, I'm, it's so easy to recommend you guys to come here and eat here and try all the Kajagas as you go around Nepal, okay? 